Hey y'all, this will be a quick video about some quirks of using RHEL in the home lab. So it all mainly boils down to using Subscription Manager, and I'll show you a trick at the end of the video to keep your installation extra consistent if you're studying for an exam that targets a specific minor release of RHEL and you don't want it to upgrade. So the first thing is pretty simple. During the installation, you have an option to connect to Red Hat, and this is where you can connect your developer account. Something I want to point out is that depending on how old your Red Hat login slash subscription is, it may default to simple content access mode. So this is fine, there's nothing broken about it, this is just something new that they're doing so people don't have to manually attach a subscription every single time. Um, on the bottom, I'm showing you my personal account where it's older, and so it doesn't do that by default. And you may need to run auto-attach after the installation if yours works like the one on the bottom. So another thing I want to show is how to gracefully detach and unregister a subscription and account from your VM before you clone it. The reason we do this is because we don't want to confuse the Red Hat customer portal by having multiple nodes attached to the same entitlement, which is also probably against the rules. Anyways, so if you're unregistering, you don't need to remove the attached subscription, although you can if you wanted to. You can just type in subscription manager unregister and this will get you out. Next, I recommend running subscription manager clean uh, just to make sure that it's um, all prepped up for the next time you register. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now let's say that I've just cloned this system and I want to re-register my subscription. So I changed the host name of this clone, so now I'm ready to run subscription manager register. And this will prompt you for your Red Hat login and then boom, you're back in. So if you have an older account that doesn't default to simple content access mode, you'll likely need to run subscription manager attach. Uh, as you can see, uh, I didn't have to do that. Okay, and the last thing I want to show here was that trick I was talking about at the beginning. Well, it isn't much of a trick, it's more like a useful feature. So you can pin your installation of RHEL to a specific release, like 8.2 or 9.1. This will allow you to get package updates, but you won't be swept into a minor release upgrade like you normally would if a newer version is available. So for example, if you just type in subscription manager release, dash dash set equals 9.1 and then clean out the yum cache with yum clean all you'll see now that we're stuck to version 9.1 now if you ever change your mind then you can run subscription manager release dash dash unset and then you can run yum clean all again and now you can upgrade to future minor releases again so um that's going to be about it for this video. I hope it helped you out. Thanks for watching.